Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another Star Wars uh, figure review, I guess. Not really a figure, we're going all out with a vehicle today. And I just picked this up, not 10, 15 minutes ago. It is the Boba Fett Slave One from the Vintage Collection. Now I wasn't originally intending on picking this up, but I just couldn't help myself, I really couldn't. Um, I missed out on the Slave 1 from say, I think it was 2011, 12 or 13 when the uh, Vintage Collection was out back then. Um, so I'm very excited to have, have a version of the Slave 1. I do have an old 2002 or 3 uh, Attack of the Clones Django Fett coloured Slave 1. But I'm extremely happy to have this one. I'm looking forward to opening this up and having a look and putting it all together. Um, I was pretty excited that it actually comes with a display stand, so you can um, prop it up. There's some pictures on the side there. So it can actually sit up on the side. Slot for the honey carbonite, Boba Fett, and a couple of seats. Um, so I'm not sure how this is in terms of similarity to the to the last release. Um, I'm sure there's just some minor deco changes and stuff like that. So. But the box art is is amazing. Might be time to get those those Bespin guards back out again. Uh, it'd be a good opportunity to put them out because um, they're ten over ten years old now. Those figures, I think, uh, yeah, well over ten years. So Hasbro might be time to get those two guys out again. Um, we've got a lot of new collectors out there that would love to get a hold of them and set up this diorama scene. We've got the new Stormtroopers looking good. Boba Fett from the Vintage Collection, he's about to get a re-release. Um, I think he may have already had a small release um, within the last 6 to 12 months. But um, Some cool, cool bits there, so I'm going to open it up and uh, put it all together and we'll, we'll take a look together. Alright, so bef before I uh, put it all together, I just thought I'd lay everything out as it comes out of the box. Um, they were like wrapped up in individual bags and stuff like that and in plastic. And uh, this thing's pretty damn big. I <laughs> uh, just got my uh, Empire Strikes Back Vintage Collection uh, Boba Fett figure for scale. If we just drop him there, like that is massive. We'll get a good look at that afterwards, but uh, obviously we've got the... Uh, cockpit window a um, little bit here that could be an escape pod got the wings we do have some stickers to put on shooting missiles which will probably end up in a box there's some uh, seismic charges which is cool and the uh, cannons from the uh, side so we'll oh, also hiding carbonite comes as a bit of a bonus uh, this looks like the Exact same as the most recent one that came out in the uh, Cantina diorama. So, uh, not the Cantina, the Jabba's Palace diorama. So that's cool. And uh, the stand, which is a pretty epic looking uh, piece. And it's got the uh, Bantha skull printed onto the into the plastic there. So that's really cool. All right, let's uh, let's put this thing together. All right, and here she is. This thing is so much bigger than I was expecting. That's what she said. All right, so I've got Boba Fett down there for scale. Um, this thing is just, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Um, I thought I had the perfect place ready in my room for this thing, but I'm gonna have to shuffle it around because I wasn't expecting it to be this big. Now I'm gonna actually have to walk around and physically grab this thing um, to show you some of the detail. So what I'll do is I'll take it off the stand um, which is really well done actually, it literally just sits um, literally just sits in there like that and let the engineering take take the uh, balance so I do have the uh, flick missiles down there um, the flicks are on the back there um, so I might just leave them in there, I might take them out, I'm not sure yet. Um, we'll see. Uh, the wings, up on the sides there, they will move. Uh, not entirely independent of one another, they sort of, they obviously fit onto an axle um, that is in the back. So I may end up unscrewing this thing and just working out exactly what's going on in there and trying to work out 
the best way to um, have these wings. They do have a little bit of a flick back on them if you can see that. But in terms of detail, this thing looks fantastic. Um, they've put a nice wash over everything on the back here. So this is actually like a feature of the vehicle itself. Um, whereas in the past, it would be just, you know, it would look like the plastic. We do have the seismic chargers. They are locked in there, ready to go. And they have a button on each side. They will, uh, they will pop out. I'm not gonna do it right now. cockpit comes forward that is where Han and Carbonite is stored I, uh, despite the fact that they do bring him into the ship um, in the film through the entrance uh, the base but uh, that's all right that's a cool spot for it I don't mind that at all um, some cool details there with the seats I'm looking forward to messing around with like some of the Clone Wars figures, like Young Boba, Aura Singh, Bosk, having them in there for a shot, I think that would be really cool. Um, so it just sort of sits up and there's a couple of little, little tabs there that sort of lip over the top there. So what I'm going to do, and I've just lost one of the uh, seismic charges. So the other thing is that cockpit does sort of counter and tip, depending on which way you have it. All right, so on this side, we have an opening. So there's enough room there for a uh, figure or two, some built-in pegs for the figures to stand on. Um, you can put a few people in there. Here, there is a bit of a cage. That's that um, other accessory that was shown before. That just sort of comes out there and uh, Looks more or less just like a chamber or something that Boba might keep his bounties in um, and just store them up, up there. So that's nice. Uh, the ramp that comes down like that. It slots up nicely. Um, overall, I'm just really, really happy with this thing. Uh, detail wise, it's fantastic. Hasbro's done a really cool job, um, being that I don't really have a lot to compare it to. Um, I'm really, really excited to have this thing in my collection. Um, really, really excited. Uh, the other one being that I do have, like I mentioned earlier, the Slave 1 from um, Attack of the Clones. And uh, yeah, that, <laughs> this dwarfs that in size comparison. So. Yeah, this is a fantastic piece. I'm really, really chuffed. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. If there's anything else you want to take a closer look at, um, let me know. I'll probably post some pictures of it on Instagram um, just to get a good close look at this thing because it's epic. I love it. All right, everyone. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, I hope I did this justice. I really do. Um, again, let me know in the comments below. Until my next video, guys, may the force be with you. Always.